There was a time when Parkinson's disease was considered rare, but emerging evidence suggests Parkinson's is reaching pandemic proportions. The NIH estimates that half a million Americans are now living with the disease. And in our HealthCast today, we're taking a look at the latest research being done right here locally and strides being made to treat Parkinson's disease. John Cox was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease three years ago, but even before then, he did notice changes in his movements. I had an issue where if I did this to my, my hand, it would kick my hand to start shaking and I couldn't stop it. And I'm like, something's not right. John is now participating in his second clinical trial into treatments for Parkinson's. I enrolled the first one um, sheer just trying to get first in line to get some type of medication to stop this or at least treat it. Neurologist Dr. Sonia Kalarau with HCA Florida Northwest Regional Hospital is leading several clinical trials into Parkinson's. So the research that is incoming, both in a diagnostic world as well as therapeutic, meaning diagnosis, how we can establish a diagnosis, how we can say patient is starting having Parkinson's, or even better, how we can say that you're predisposed to having Parkinson's. Um, those are diagnostic research trials. Then is therapeutic. Therapeutic is, okay, we have established the diagnosis. How can we treat you? Researchers are looking into treatments with a form of vitamin B3 and investigating new ways to detect the disease through eye scans and blood tests. We are excited about these trials because they will give us more standardization about diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. While there's currently no cure for Parkinson's disease, the earlier it's detected, the more treatment a person can receive to help slow down the disease's progression. Who knows, this one I'm on right now might be the one. Well, while Parkinson's is the most common in people over the age of 60, early onset Parkinson's can often affect people, especially with a genetic component, under the age of 50.